initially we do 10 minutes of meditation followed by yoga and then a little experience sharing close with beautiful uh, smell yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so uh, that is the program and uh, uh, thanks to great brother Miranda so before going into meditation we try to understand what is true yoga and uh, what are all the different yogas we are going to practice today. So, there, there is a misconception about understanding the yoga. Of course, for so many people there are misconceptions in the world. Because we remember with the world and the actual meaning we lose. So, the true meaning of yoga is union. Yoga means union. Even in Telugu, uh, in the regular uh, usage of the words, people will say, Varthi Yoga Muledu Anta. Varthi Yoga Muledu Anta. That Telugu has got no. Yoga means uh, something coming from above. Yoga Mandi Varthi Yoga Mundi and something is there, something came to him. So where from it will come? From the above. From the above means the totality, actually. Yes. Or we can say the other word is God. So whatever is coming from the God, from the totality, is called Yoga. So here, Yoga means that union means union with the under self, with the over self. That is what actually the true meaning of Yoga. Union with the under self means the individual consciousness, with the total consciousness. If these two are uniting, that is called the real Yoga. Or in other words, the feeling the oneness or understanding the totality as a single consciousness, all these things come under the true union. The same thing Patanjali has defined Yoga ha Chitta Vruti Virodha. The true Yoga, the true union will happen when you stop the Chitta Vruti. Chitta means the day to day, Vruti means thoughts. Whatever the day-to-day -day thoughts that are coming in our mind, if you can stop it, and if you go into the thoughtless mind, during that period, the true union, the yoga will happen. So whatever the act it may be, you should become one with the totality. Then only we can say that the yoga is happening. The yoga. So you, something will transform from the above towards you. Even though the true yoga is different, real union between under self and the over self are becoming one, totality is the real yoga. The people are there in different levels, uh, baby soul, infant soul, young souls, different levels of people are there. So whenever there are different levels of people, according to their mindset, we need to give them an exercise to understand the union, the yoga. That's why different types of yoga methods came into the market. Just to understand this a little example, suppose if a child asks you, give me the moon, the moon is so bright and he feels like I want that moon, he will ask you. You cannot bring moon to him, which is impossible. So what do we do? The same story, either in a slate, in a mirror or in a water, you can show the moon to him and take the moon. Immediately he will put his hand and he will try to grab the moon. At least it is there in his reach, right? But actually he is not taking the real moon, but his need is satisfied according to his age. <coughs> Suppose if an adult asks you, then you should put him to aerospace engineering and he has to learn how to be there in a spaceship and with the spaceship he has to go to moon and he has to put his leg like a Neil Armstrong or a Neil Armstrong or whatever. That is the true getting the moon, getting onto the moon, right? So there is a huge difference between these two. Similarly, if you take the yoga methods, they are catered from the child to a true spiritual being. Yoga starts with, there are yogas there, Karma Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Kriya Yoga, Raja Yoga, Dance Yoga, 
swadhyaya yoga so these are all there are around 20 to 30 yogas if you name if you google you will get so many yogas all these yogas are the final aim is to union the individual consciousness with the group consciousness or uh, under self to the over self becoming one with the totality that is what the true union so yoga means union this word if you learn today if you already know i am happy otherwise Usually people think that yoga means making some asanas with the body. Yes, it is right, but it is called Hatha Yoga. Whatever the asanas we are doing and trying to become one with the totality through those yoga asanas is Hatha Yoga. And if you are manipulating the breath in different ways, that is Kriya Yoga. You are doing Kriya, Swasa Kriya. You are working on the Swasa Kriya and trying to one with the totality, that is Kriya Yoga. And if you are doing with the dance, it is called Dance Yoga. If you are doing with bhakti, bhakti means uh, anusandhana, with the god. Even though you are doing some external things like puja or whatever, at one point you have to become one with the totality, that is called bhakti yoga. Tuning yourself with the god is easy. And then, the king of all yogas is Raja Yoga. That's why we call Raja means king. The king yoga is like uh, the kombastan of the elephant. So it is called Raja Yoga because in a order, in lifetimes, we start with Karma Yoga, the Koti Kapra Makan services we do. After that we go to Jnana Yoga, there we come to know about the wisdom, the value of wisdom, that is Jnana Yoga. From there we go into the Raja Yoga, means the true practice of breath we do, that is called Raja Yoga. So that's why they call it as Raja Yoga, means the king of all the yogas, like a Kumbhastar of the elephant, is breath. That is what Patanjali Maharshi also refers. Where if you observe the breath, slowly you go into thoughtless mind and you will become one with the totality. All your chitta vrittis will be stopped. So yogaha, chitta vritti virodaha. There also through breath observation only one can become completely silent. That is what we listen in Anamaya song. Kai putu kurilo gani unnadi yogi muko. Kai putu kurimi kai mu means physical body. Upuri means breath, kai putupuri, ghani means the, the, the kajana, you know, treasure. So kai putupuri lo, ghani unnadi, yogi indiruluku means yogi means yogis, the siddha who practices. So that breath is the key. Similarly, if you listen to that song, uchvasa niswasa pavanamam nunda ni bhavam batilaki ne uyala. Uchvasa niswasa pavanamu means nev. If you are there with your breath, then ni bhavambu means your totality, what you are, that I am able to sense. You, you can begin the Tanama itself. So all masters, all divine beings may talk about the breath, because breath is really here. That is what Buddha says, Anaparasati, in detail of the So, today we start with the Raj Yoga for 10 minutes, because every day anybody will be doing. And apart from that, the International Yoga Day, it is meant for teaching people, the whole world should understand the value of yoga, means the union, becoming one with God, through different, different methods. According to their own level, they will choose a method that will fit for them. I have seen people, even though they start with meditation, sooner or later they will land in Hatha Yoga, because they feel that is more, uh, you know, uh, good feel they will get by doing that Hatha Yoga with the physical body. And at the end of the Hatha Yoga, they will do 10-15 minutes meditation. That is different. Some people land in dance yoga. Some people have more interest in Swadhyaya Yoga, means reading spiritual books. Through that, they will understand the God and then they will feel that oneness. So all yogas are right. But the ultimate is becoming one with God or one with totality. So let us practice uh, Raj Yoga, a simple breath observation. How many of you are doing already the breath observation meditation here? Who is not doing? Just who is not doing? First day. Oh, my goodness. Madam, you did a lot of time. You did, no? But I'm not doing regular in oh, day to day. That's okay. But at least once. Yeah, yeah. Earlier you did. Yeah. So people who are new, today you are learning a great science, the Raj Yoga. Uh, just 10 minutes we do with music. And after that, uh, we go to the Hatha Yoga practice. Yeah. So, remove the spectacles. This any time and any day, any place you can practice this. 
even in the waiting periods in the bus or car, if probably if you are not driving. Okay. So clasp the hands like this and keep your spine a bit erect initially. Even you can do this at your home and sitting on chair also, no need to sit on the floor. Keep your phones in silent mode, do not to disturb others. Close your eyes, relax your body. And observe, close your eyes, no need to open your eyes in between. Close your eyes, relax your body. And observe normal, natural, soft breathing. Inhale and exhale. No need to take any deep breath or shallow breath. Observe normal, natural, soft breathing. You have chosen one keys to observing the normal, natural, tender, and soft breathing. Yeah, the technique itself is like if you are observing better, you won't get any thoughts. By chance, you understood that you are into thoughts means you are not observing your brain. Again, bring back your focus to breath. Anywhere in the nostrils or throat or stomach, in the belly, wherever you feel, just observe the breath. The soft instrumental music will be played as a background. But as and when you feel like you are away from your breath, again bring back your focus on your breath. This music is only to give some musical energy and to avoid the unwanted distractions from the surrounding sounds that are going behind you. By observing breath, slowly, slowly we go into focus mind, during which tremendous amount of cosmic energy will flow into our energy system that cleanses the nadi and the third eye gets activated through which we get immune system through this brain. Here the spiritual wisdom is the key to attain health, happiness and prosperity. Just observe normal natural breath. 